Hello everyone and welcome to Global Art. I'm excited to have you today again and we're getting started with a new week and I hope we all get acclimated to the first week of school. So now we're going to get started with our second week and we want to make sure that you're ready and excited and get ready to go because you are going to actually get started um, with your project and we want to go from there. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm going to share screen. All right, so um, we want to go to our section and of our course. All right, so let's look here. We're going to go to art, global art, and let's get started with assignments for this particular week. So this particular week, what you want to get accomplished this week is you're going to learn about um, your project um, and making sure that you um, watch this video. Um, you're going to do your eye opener and write 10 facts about the African tribes you're going to learn in this lecture. Okay, so let's click on that. All right, so a um, couple of things I want you to make sure you understand is that um, this week um, you are going to actually start painting your project. You have a whole week to complete it. Remember, the project needs to look similar to what you see behind me. So we want to try to um, have something similar. That I'm going to actually add the picture of this project. Hopefully I can put it here, but you can see it. But I um, want to make sure that you understand what you need to have um, in order for you to get the project completed. But you can see it behind me. Um, but just try to make sure that you um, do your background first. Then you can add your images in. And then the last thing you would do is do your black with your paint. And then the last thing will also be adding your white around those particular things using white acrylic. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and do our week lesson do our lesson for this particular week. Um, so we want to talk about African tribes and get acclimated with that. A um, couple of things I want to share with you is that um, different types of African tribes, excuse my baby, different types of African tribes. So we have the Afar tribe. Um, we can see an example of that here. Um, the Afar tribe, you can see how the people look um, and what decor that they wear for that particular tribe. Um, talks about some things in this, um, talks about how they depend on livestock, um, goats and camels, um, in order to um, make a living. That's what they really focus on. And this is they exist in northern Ethiopia. So that's where um, some information that you can learn about them as well. And I'm going to slide share this slide from the current slide. All right. Now, so other things. Another tribe we want to look at is the Obo tribe. The Obo tribe is a tribe that basically um, lives in this area um, of the um, Burkina Faso area, north of Mali, that's where they are, reside. And their major food crops, they have millet, yams, um, corn, that's what they pretty much use. Um, you can see example here, their artwork, and they dance with these particular masks, these ceremonial masks here um, with the Obo tribe, okay? All right, the next tribe we want to look at is the Dogon. The Dogon, tribe is in lives in West Africa and one of the things about this particular tribe is interesting um, is that they really have a lot of interesting symmetrical masks that you see involved here with the Dogon tribe um, and they have different legends um, you can read that there um, as well but just an interesting um, tribe to look at the Fang tribe migrated into the area um, northeast, um, in these northeast in recent centuries, um, and they're very nomadic. So you can see an example here of this tribe, and look at this artwork. Um, so you can kind of recognize this artwork when you see it here, um, and it talks about um, skulls and bones and different relics that were used um, as well. Fawn tribe, you can see an example of these. Um, people and images so it's like so you can see some of this artwork here um, but the fine tribe you can see example there the statues are carved um, as well primary crops are yams cotton and taro okay millet maize and okra mm -hmm. um, then we look at the Q tribe um, there's some information here about that particular tribe um, and 
understanding where they are from. Um, and it talks some facts are listed here. Um, and they're the largest ethnic group in Kenya, the Kuyu, Kuyu, Kuyu tribe. <laughs> um, and they really use a staple crop such as beans and um, peas, sweet potatoes. The Maasai, these wear these, they wear these beautiful necklaces, um, these neck um, necklaces that sort of look like rings. So this is a beautiful tribe you see here. They're really nomadic, um, but it says that um, they're responsible for uh, war. They're really a warrior tribe. So think of when you think of Maasai, I think of a warrior tribe, and they rely on meat, milk, and blood from animals. Actually, um, so it's very interesting to know. This is an example of the Maasai mask. The Ninka tribe, you can see an example here, um, talks about the language here and the farmlands as well. Um, if, uh, Inufo tribe um, talks about the inhabitants of this particular tribe and how they have different amounts of hunting and fishing um, as well. And the Wolof tribe, you can see that Wolofs are Muslim, that's their religion. Um, and let's see, what else? Ghana, we looked at the Ghana tribe, Yoruba tribe, and marriages in the Yoruba, Yoruba tribe are arranged. But notice how they have a lot of the de decorative, notice how they have a lot of decorative um, things in their face as well, okay? All right, so those are just some things um, to think about. I'm gonna stop sharing here. All right, so those are some of the things to think about um, when you look at these particular works. And I want you to, so please excuse, um, I have a little child, but please excuse her from um, talking. Um, but go ahead and um, write those 10 facts. You can go back and review this video and I also will have um, this PowerPoint available for you to go and look at on your own. All right, thank you.